A man convicted of murdering a journalist in 2005 could be one step closer to freedom tonight. Garrett Hake was in the courtroom today. Garrett, two eyewitnesses have now recanted their testimony against Ryan Ferguson. Mark, that's right. And today, a three-judge panel heard from Ferguson's attorney and from the state and could decide whether or not to completely throw out this case in a matter of days or weeks. Now, today's hearing centered around the testimony of Jerry Trump, who was a janitor who worked at the Columbia Daily Tribune with the victim, Kent Heitholt. Trump said he recognized Ferguson and the other man charged with the murder after seeing their pictures in a newspaper after they had been arrested. In April of last year, though, Trump recanted that testimony. Now, today, Ferguson's lawyer argued that with both both eyewitnesses changing their stories and no physical evidence linking Ferguson to the crime, the conviction ought to be thrown out. After the hearing, Ferguson's father said prosecutor Kevin Crane's entire case had come undone. He was uh, found guilty with innuendos and false testimony uh, orchestrated by uh, Kevin Crane. It was an accident. He orchestrated that through innuendo and through uh, uh, Brady violations, and now the truth is coming out after 10 years. It's taken way too long. Now, coming up at 10 tonight, we'll take a much closer look at this case, including why some people call it the dream murder. Reporting live downtown, Garrett Hake, 41 Action News. All right, Garrett, we'll see you at 10, Garrett. Thanks so much. Now, there is still a lot of support for Ryan Ferguson. We found at least four different Facebook pages calling for his release. This is a car here his father customized. It reads, Free Ryan Ferguson. His father, Bill, plans to take the car through 14 states. Bill Ferguson also has a petition on change.org asking for a new trial. So far, more than 112,000 people have signed that.